Welcome to Fancy Nursery. If this is your first time visiting our channel, we'd like to give you a big fancy welcome. In this channel we share information, tips and tricks to make new mom's life easier, especially in the first year of their baby's arrival. Having a baby can be a joyous experience, but it can also be a frightening one when your little one falls ill. One of the most common illnesses in babies is a fever, and it is important to know what to do if your baby has a fever. Recognizing the signs and symptoms of a fever in babies. A fever is defined as a body temperature higher than the normal range of 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit. Fevers can be an indication of an infection or illness, and they can be a sign that your baby needs medical attention. It is important to recognize the signs and symptoms of a fever in your baby and to know how to treat it. Common causes of fever in infants. There are many causes of a fever in babies, including infections, vaccinations, and teething. One, infections are the most common cause of a fever in babies, and they can be caused by viruses, bacteria, or other germs. Two, vaccinations can also cause a fever in babies as the body is responding to the new immunization. Three, teething can also cause a fever in babies as the baby's body is responding to the new teeth coming in. How to tell if your baby has a fever. Recognizing a fever in babies is important as it can indicate an infection or other illness that needs to be treated. The most common symptom of a fever in babies is a high body temperature, but other symptoms can include fussiness, lethargy, loss of appetite, and trouble sleeping. To confirm that your baby has a fever, you can take their temperature with infant's thermometer. Treating a fever in infants. What you need to know. If your baby has a fever, there are a few things you can do to help them feel better. You can try sponging your baby off with lukewarm water, as this can help reduce their fever. Make sure your baby is getting plenty of fluids to keep them hydrated and comfortable. Additionally, it's a good idea to have your baby's physician's recommended medicine for fevers on hand and to administer it to your baby in the recommended doses. Taking these steps can help your baby feel better and keep them safe. When to seek medical care for your baby's fever. In some cases, you may need to seek medical attention for your baby's fever. If your baby has a high-grade fever, over 102 degrees Fahrenheit, or a persistent fever, lasting more than 24 hours, you should contact your doctor. You should also contact your doctor if your baby has other symptoms, such as vomiting, diarrhea, or difficulty breathing. Keeping your baby healthy and safe. Knowing what to do if your baby has a fever. When it comes to your baby's health, it is important to recognize the signs and symptoms of a fever and to take the necessary steps to treat it. Your baby's physician's recommended medicine, sponging off, and fluids can help reduce the fever. If your baby has a high-grade fever, a persistent fever, or other symptoms, it is important to seek medical attention. By being aware of the signs and symptoms of a fever and knowing how to treat it, you can help keep your baby healthy and safe. Thanks so much for watching. We hope you got lots of helpful tips and advice from this video. If there are any topics you'd like us to cover in the future, feel free to mention them in the comments section, and we'll do our best to include them. And don't forget to visit our store for all your baby needs. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel so you can be notified when we post more helpful content. We'll see you in the next video.